Today, I am going to solve a problem on Bayer Villager oxidation. I hope you may be familiar with this. It is very simple reaction which use organic peroxide. Here is the problem. When this bicyclic ketone is treated with peracetic acid followed by treatment with lithium aluminum hydride, what is the product? All the four options, they are cyclopentane derivative. The variation is in the stereochemistry of this alcohol and this chain. In order to solve this, you should know the product selectivity in the Bayer Villager oxidation and reduction of ester with lithium aluminum hydride. First, let us go to Bayer Villager oxidation. I go for a simple molecule like this. When I treat this with peracetic acid, the peracetic acid attacks the ketone to give this one or you can say minus. This attack is facilitated by the coordination of H plus here. As such, the electrophilicity on this carbon is somewhat less to be attacked by this peristic acid. But this H plus coordinates to oxygen. As a result, the del plus increases and the peracid attacks the A. Now when it comes back, this bond migrates here, so it goes like this. So what we get is like this. So this is called Bayer Villager oxidation. A ketone is converted into lactone here or in simple we can say ester. Ketone they are converted into ester. Since it is cyclic ester it is lactone. In this case this carbon as well as this carbon they are identical. So there is no question of which group will migrate because both are same. If they are different, for example, I go for a compound like this. Here I have methyl group. I add peracetic acid, even you can use metachloropyribenzoic acid that will attack the same mechanism now the question is when it comes back whether this group will migrate or this carbon will migrate based on that we will get two products Check the carbon number, it should be 7. This one product. So this carbon has migrated to give this product. Another one, this carbon also can migrate. In such case, what we get is, again it will be 7 member, CH3 will be like, like this. So oxygen is this side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah. So we get another product like this. Now, which one will be more preferred? A group which has more electron density will prefer to migrate. If you compare this CH2 and this CH, it has CH3 as well as CH2, but here it is only CH2 group. Compared to this CH2, this group is rich in electron density because of this methyl. In other words, I can say, highly substituted carbon 
will prefer to migrate. So that is, we get this product as major, not this one. A group which has more electron density will prefer to migrate. The highly substituted carbon will have more electron density. So that has to migrate. Now let us go to the given problem. This is the bicyclic ketone. When I treat with per acetic acid, per acetic acid attacks the carbonyl carbon. What we get is like this. When it comes back, the highly substituted carbon migrates. So what we get is a product like this. So the oxygen has been included between the carbonate and most substituted carbon. Now, when we reduce with lithium aluminium hydride, the mechanism is very simple. H minus deliver here to give aldehyde and alcohol. Further, the aldehyde will be reduced to give this alcohol. Sorry. There is one more carbon. There are two carbons, so we get alcohol like this. Now, look at this, this OH and this CH to CH to OH should be in the same direction. They are cis to each other. The product OH and CH2, CH2OH should be cis. Let us try to find out that. In this OH and CH2, they are trans. So this cannot be the product. In the second, they are cis. OH and CH2, CH2OH, they are cis. So the possibility is there. The third one and the fourth one, the product itself is different. Here it is not OH. Here it is CH2OH. That is not at all possible. One more carbon has been attached here. So that is not at all possible. So the answer is 2. In which hydroxyl and this side chain, they are cis to each other.